All right, this is a Boyle's Law problem. Uh, it does have a real world application for scuba diving, but uh, it's just an application of Boyle's Law for us. Scuba divers are taught to never hold their breath, and this problem illustrates why. If a scuba diver with a lung capacity of 4.40 liters is at a depth of 40.0 meters, where the pressure is 4.00 atmospheres, and in an emergency is forced to swim to the surface where the pressure is 1.00 atmospheres, what would the volume of air in the lungs be if the diver held their breath? So this problem, when we work it out, will illustrate why scuba divers never hold their breath. Uh, it can result in a very dangerous situation called a lung overexpansion. If we look at the information given in this problem, and look at our formula page, we can decide that this is a Boyle's Law problem. We're given information about pressure and volume. The original pressure, P1, is 4.00 atmospheres. The original volume at depth in the diver's lungs is 4.40 liters. The pressure at the surface after the diver ascends, P2, is 1.00 atmospheres. And we're asked for V2, the final volume that the air in the diver's lungs would occupy at the surface. So V2, rearranging Boyle's Law, V2, is P1 V1 over P2. So 4.00 atmospheres times 4.40 liters and divided by 1.00 atmospheres. So to three significant figures, 17.6 liters. So the final volume that that amount of air would occupy, 17.6 liters, shows you why this is such an important concept for scuba divers to understand. If they were to hold their breath at the depth in the question, and ascend to the surface because of the change in pressure that volume of air would actually increase from 4.40 liters to 17.6 which results in something that scuba divers call a lung overexpansion injury.